So you got to hear this, Robin. We we made a decision to send Sal to that professional job interviewer. Okay. She's the executive director for a Fortune 500 company. Yeah. So she's a person who interviews people for a living for their jobs. And we said to Sal, go to you know go go in and, and and apply for a job. Pretend Howard no longer works. Sal is so fucked. He will never get another job. <laughs> <laughs> Sal just said he doesn't want to hear this. Why don't you want to hear it? Well, uh, just according to your take on it already, I'm extremely embarrassed. Now, if you ask me seriously, do I think I did well? Yes, I did. <laughs> but your interpretation makes my stomach turn. This has to be the first job interview I've ever heard in history where a guy <laughs> mentions piss porn. What? I yeah, did? Yeah. What do you mean, I did? You don't know what you did? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, honesty is the best policy. Have you specifically done anything that would make them think that you're a pervert? No, we, we've discussed on air, like, our personal things. Like, we've, as far as, like, there's a lot of pornography that's been discussed on the show. So, like, we might talk about the particular types of pornography we like. And I've discussed in the past, uh, I've liked, it's called piss porn, you know, like in, you know, in popular Idiot. in Germany, and I've discussed that and stuff. She's oh, dialing right. the police. Okay. I was going to say, oh, we man. can stop this interview yeah. right now. Hey, did you hear? She goes, oh, okay. First of all, you know women find piss porn absolutely disgusting. I mean, you couldn't mention a worse type of porn. If you, I mean, first of all, don't mention porn. I was honest. I don't know. But this is the best one. So she says to him, what would people who like him the least, what would they say about you at work? And there's a way to oh, answer boy. questions in a job interview where you go like, yeah, you know, people at work say I work too hard and, you know, it ruins it for them. That's how you answer that. Here's Sal. If you think about the person that likes you the least, what do you think they would say about you? Oh, probably like I'm a racist, they would say. They would probably say I'm a pervert. They would say I'm a creep. They would say that I'm crazy. They would say that I'm an idiot. Why would they say those things? Because they only hear what I say. You know, people might judge me because, <laughs> and that's fine because they only know what they hear. So if somebody captures three minutes of me talking about a particular fetish I like, you know, sexual fetish, <laughs> they might just z zone in on that and judge me and label me and that's it. It's signed, sealed, and delivered. So you understand the difference between a therapy session and a job interview, right? <laughs> Now I do. Fucking lunatic. I mean, oh my goodness. I guarantee you Tam Mom could get a job over you. Yeah. You know, Howard, hearing that back, you're absolutely right. I can't believe I said those things. I mean, I was just so focused on being honest, and I always think that if you're not honest, you come off as disingenuous, and people can read that. So I, I thought I did the best that I could do. Howard, can I just point out one other thing? Because it was so great. He said all those things about him, and she goes, why would people say that about you? And I thought he was going to go, well, things get misinterpreted. And his exact sentence was, they listen to the words that come out yeah, of my mouth. Yeah, they hear me. You mean that's where Robin laughed so hard you can almost <laughs> not hear Sal anymore? <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this. I don't know why I made a left turn from racist to sexual fetish. That is a little odd now that I hear it back. <laughs> that's I, a little odd. Yeah, I could have put the brakes on just the idiot and, and racist stuff. Idiot and racist. But Sal, I'm Sal, by the way, I'm all for honesty, but you can select what you want to talk about. Right. That you want more? Yes. I mean, oh he's my not God, done. This is a gold mine. Fred, we got to go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. This is the best. Sal had a really hard time with the last and easiest question. Okay. It was a layup. She gave him a layup. Why should I hire you? Oh. And Sal had a really, really hard time. <laughs> so, if you had to summarize it, why should I hire you? Let me ask you, why should you hire me? <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> why should you hire me? Um, I mean, it's kind of an odd question because I would think at this point you would know if you want to hire me or not. I think I've said enough. I do, <laughs> but I want to see how well you can summarize why you believe that I should hire you. Well, I believe you should hire me because I'm dedicated. I work hard. I'm a team player. I believe in synchronicity because I love what I do and because I'm sincerely dedicated and I'm hard on myself and I believe in being a team player. Oh, there you go. Thank you, I'm Sal. A team I appreciate player. it. Thank you very and I'm much. A team I, player. I hope I didn't scare you too much. And oh, I believe in God. synchronicity. Fucking unbelievable, right? It's amazing. 
Number uh, when you said you were going to play some answers, I couldn't imagine they could be this off the mark. He's he's a disaster. Awesome, Sal. You're awesome. Like, like no one has ever done a worse job interview. 